Qt and the Qt tools really help us put together these high quality HMI simulators um, and experiences earlier in that development process. So we, because they're getting more and more complex and the development times are shorter, the earlier we can do that, the better. For maybe a typical vehicle development process, a lot of time is spent in the initial requirement phase, so that's really writing down how we want these features to work. And with this modeling, we can really use that time frame, which is somewhere around maybe 80 weeks, and really better utilize that time earlier in the development process and bring Qt into that space so that we can understand these, these requirements a lot better. Working with different engineers and collaborating, say ergonomics engineers, HMI engineers, controls engineers, Bringing them all together early in the process and being able to create kind of a demonstration of how these features work is really valuable. And you can actually, say, run internal customer clinics, you can run different things and really get people working with that feature a lot earlier. So at least the work that I've done with Qt, um, it means that when I'm doing this simulation kind of on my computer, I can use one model and do all the work, validate it, make sure it works. And then using the cross-platform cross support for Qt, I can take that same exact model, say put it on a Raspberry Pi for kind of a vehicle demonstration, run a cheap embedded DCU, and use the exact same model, which saves me a lot of time because I don't have to recreate things. That community, um, uh, especially with the, being new to it, um, the answer is kind of already out there. Um, so when you're trying new things, it's really, there are a lot of resources to help you really get started and, and develop really high quality things.